Welcome to my NetBeans tutorial on uh, the command button clear. So what we need to do is go to our form and then add a new command button clear. So I'll go to swing controls button. Let's put it over here. Edit the text. Clear. Okay. Okay. First, I'll show you how to clear a command button. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, a label. Let's go ahead and clear this label. Okay, so let's right click, change the variable name to LBL1. Okay. So go over to the clear, double click or right click and go to events, action, and action performed. So, okay, after that, put in the following code. So we put in the code uh, so the object is called label1 so it will be l1 dot set text to null. Okay so if we were to run the program the application we were to click the clear it would clear the label. Okay, so that's that. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for a text box or a text field in this case. So right click, edit the variable name, txt1. Okay, double click clear to go to the source code. Then the next line, type in txt1 dot set text. Same thing. It's equal to null. Run the program. Hit the clear button. There's both of them. All right. So okay. So what's next? Another clear. Checkbox. Okay, checkbox. Here we go. Checkbox. So right click, change variable name, check one, double click. The code for this is chk1 dot uh, is selected or set set selected set selected. False. There we go. That's pretty much it. Okay. Let's do the same same thing, same deal with the radio button. Same deal. And OBT, change to OBT1, click, OBT1 dot, set selected, it's false. Run it again, clear, all of it gets cleared. Okay, so another one. Combo box. All right. So what do we got in the combo box? So change CBO one. Let's check if there's any value in the combo box. Okay, there is. So go ahead and double click clear again. CBO one dot set selected index is equal to negative one. Run the program. Alright, check check. Clear. All cleared. But check the combo box still has value inside. All it did was it was it just removed the value to nothing. That's all it did. It didn't it didn't remove the items inside. 
Okay, let's go ahead and what else? Text area. Okay, text area. No, there you go. Okay, uh, change the variable name. See it's the A1. So clear. DXDA one dot set text. So no. And if you run program yet again, so here clear, all done. So let's see if we missed anything else. Okay, so well that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much the code for clear. You can see pretty much most of it's null. Set something to something. So set text, set selective, set selective index. So they're all pretty much the same concept when you get to get used to it. So, so yeah, there. There's the clear command button. Thank you for watching my tutorial.